Oh, I'm so good. How are you? Doing really well. Uh, I've been waiting for this opportunity to uh, to get to sit down and talk with you because I find you to be one of the more fascinating uh, artists in music today, um, just from what you've accomplished in a really, really short time. But before we get to that, I want to congratulate you and wish you a very happy belated 18th birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm very flattered. That means a lot. I need to know what you did to celebrate. I mean, 18 is a big milestone. You had to have done something special. I mean, not everybody gets honored on their birthday with a Saturday Night Live sketch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that was incredible and I had no idea that was coming. And obviously it's such a big honor to be parodied on SNL. I think that's the biggest compliment in the whole world. So that was amazing. But um, yeah, I, uh, I went to the beach with my best friend and uh, we got our tarot cards read. Um, and I actually, I tried to buy a lottery ticket cause I'm like, okay, that's the one thing you can do when you turn 18. Like you can't buy alcohol, you can't buy this and that, but you can, you can buy a lottery ticket. And I went to the gas station and the lady was like, you have to be 21. And I was like, huh? Which I think she was wrong. Like, I think you can be 18, but, um, so I tried that. That was the one like 18 year old girl thing I tried to do and I failed. So, <laughs> All right. well, uh, Hey, there's always next time. I, I do think that some States have changed from 18 to 21. I'm not sure about New York or California, but there okay. are some States that have changed so that she might have, uh, have been on the money with that one. Okay. Darn. All right. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to do some research. <laughs> so you didn't know about SNL. Were you alerted? Like, Hey, turn on SNL tonight. Or were you just watching at home being like, Oh my God. Um, one of my friends has a friend that is like somehow like works on it or is associated with it somehow and they were like oh I think that they're gonna like mention driver's license I was like holy crap that's so cool like maybe they'll like mention it or like talk about it for like one second but never in my wildest dreams did I dream that they were gonna do like an entire sketch about the song yeah. um so that was so cool and and one of my favorite things about driver's license is how it affects like so many different people like men, women, different ages, you know, different backgrounds, like everyone's like kind of like felt that universal feeling of heartbreak. And so it was cool that they touched on that in the piece too, um, about like how like, you know, grown like macho men can like, you know, still listen to that song and, and be like taken back to like their high school days and, you know, their first heartbreak. So. I, I totally agree. And I get it because the first time I heard the song, I was like, I'm not sure I'm supposed to get this, but I totally do. I totally do. <laughs> what this girl is singing about and it's taken off in so many different ways I'm sure ways that you you never even possibly or even possibly imagined um I think the most fun thing about it and, and correct me if I'm wrong is the constant back and forth on social media I think that's so good for music and I'm not going to get into too much detail I would never pry too much and ask for details but I need to know did you know in putting this song out what the possibilities could have wound up being on on the thoughts behind the song and be honest you know, I think one of my favorite parts about being a songwriter is how vulnerable you can get in your songwriting. You can just like pour your heart and soul and all of your deepest insecurities into your song. Um, but I think putting it out is a completely separate entity. And I think once you put it out, it's not in your hands anymore. And um, people are free to interpret it however they want to interpret it and do whatever they want to with it. Um, so I think that's part of the beauty of songwriting. And uh, yeah, I definitely try to just like let it be the people's after I put it out. It's not mine anymore. What a political answer. I love it. That was well done. <laughs> <laughs> I, you say that and I, I get chills when I hear that, like putting it out and it's, there's nothing you can do anymore. That has to be one of the more frightening yet freeing experiences as an artist, I would assume. Totally. Yeah. And this song is like so sad and like, obviously um, I talk about like lots of my like insecurities in it. And it, it's so funny how it works out, how, um, like this has been one of the most empowering experiences of my, of my life, like putting out all of my like most raw, like most hurtful emotions, like out for people to see and like scrutinize. But for some reason it's been the absolute most empowering moment of my entire life. And I, I feel really proud of it. I do want to hit on the, the fun part of driver's license. Um, having gotten your driver's license, lots of questions yeah. coming in about your driver's license specifically. It's something that nobody is usually ever okay with, the photo at the DMV. Are you happy with your driver's license photo? I am actually not happy with my driver's license photo. They took it when I got my permit and I didn't know that the one that is on your permit is also the one that is on your license. Like they don't take two photos. And so I like rolled out of bed on the day that I got my permit and like my part is like all messed up in my hair and I'm like not wearing a cute outfit. Um, and I didn't also know that you can smile in it. So I look like super serious and sad because I thought it was supposed to be like a mugshot type thing. So I was just like standing there, like really like pouting and um, yeah, not happy with it, but that's okay. I, 
I got a song out of it. So, you know, can't complain. (laughs) No, most people can't say that. I don't think anybody can actually say that. You might be the only one. Um, Final thing here. We got to play a game. I play this with all the artists I talk to. Katy Perry, Cardi B, the Jonas Brothers. They've all played the game. It's called Choose on This. It's an either or type of question and answer. Are you ready, Olivia Rodrigo, to play Choose on This? I definitely am. Here we go. Question one, watching kids shows as an adult without a kid though, totally okay or a little odd? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, I think some of the kids shows are like really amazing. Like, especially like, like I, I watch like, I would watch like an episode of like Drake and Josh or something now. Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, pineapple on pizza, yum or yuck? You know, I'm actually allergic to pineapple. That's the one thing I'm allergic to, oddly enough. I don't know what it is, so I can't have it. So okay. no. <laughs> All right. Um, and uh, would you rather wait online at the DMV for 24 hours straight or give up TV for a week? Oh, give up TV for a week. I'm actually not the biggest TV watcher. So yeah, and waiting at the DMV is no fun for anyone. <laughs> All right, there you go. Olivia, congratulations on all the success. I hope to get to talk to you again soon because uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to with, with judging the success of, of driver's license. Uh, I, I think you're really headed for, for even bigger and brighter things. And so young at 18, I, I can't wait to watch how the next 18 years go for you. Oh, uh, thank you so much. It was great sure. talking to you, I appreciate it. You're awesome it. And, and so much more mature than 18. You might be more mature than, than I am at 37. You I think? Know. I don't know, I don't know. It's all an act. Yes. You've done this before. <laughs> you're pretty well coached, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, Olivia, thank you so much. We'll talk soon and congratulations. Best of luck. Stay healthy and uh, keep on doing your thing, girl. Thank you. You as well. Bye-bye.